In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this Elks Mountaineering Lynx two-person tent. Take it down, pack it up, and also how long it takes. After unboxing this tent, and after you take everything out of the brown carry bag, this is what you'll find. Along with the carry bag, you'll get the tent body, the rain fly, a gear loft, stakes and guidelines in a separate carry case, as well as poles and another carry case which look like this when you take them out. Oh, and you also get some repair patches. To set up this two-person Lynx, first unfold the tent body on the ground, and you can also stake the four corners down lightly if you need to. I'm not going to for now. Then pick up these two orange poles, and these are the only poles that you need to set up. Now, put both poles together and place each of them diagonally across the tent body. This is what the poles will look like. After that, go to one corner of the tent and insert the end of that pole into the garment at the corner. You notice two garments, so use the outer garment first. If you find that your tent body needs to be a little more taut when you're done, you can readjust the pole and insert it into the inner garment instead. I don't usually do this. Then go to the other end of that same pole, pick the pole up, arch it and insert the other end of that pole into the other outer garment in that corner. The pole won't be able to ascend yet, so gently place it on the ground. Do the same with the other orange pole by securing one end into the grommet first, then the other end and place it on the ground gently too. When both poles have been inserted into all four grommets at the corners of the tent, you can now pick both poles up and they should be able to stand on their own because of the four grommets at the bottom and that intersection at the top. Now, look for the pole clips on the tent body, raise each pole clip up as high as you can, and just connect each one intuitively to the orange poles. Let's speed this process up a bit and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there are four pole clips to be connected to each side of each orange pole, and each of these pole clips have orange webbing so that you can see it more easily. At the top of the tent, there's also this extra big pole clip with black webbing, which you should clip onto the intersection of the two orange poles. After that, grab the ring fly and drape it over the tent. At the lengths of the tent, make sure the vestibule zips are aligned over the doors. And at the width, there's this orange color coding. Before buckling your ring fly up, lift it up first and look for these velcro strips on the underneath of the ring fly to be attached to the orange poles like this. There are four of these velcro strips, so go ahead and attach all of them first. Then fasten the four buckles of your ring fly to the buckles at the four corners of the tent, so two at the front and another two at the back. This is what each buckle looks like and it'll be pretty loose at first. So go ahead and tighten all four buckles as well. To do so, just pull on the ring fly with one hand and pull on the buckle strap with your other hand until it feels more secure. After that, use four of the provided stakes to stake down the four corners of the tent using these webbing loops near the buckles. Then make sure each vestibule has been zipped up before staking the two vestibules down, one at each length of the tent. Next, look for these orange guy out points with black webbing on the outside of the ring fly for attaching these provided guy lines. I usually use just a simple hitch to attach the guy lines, and there are four guy lines to be attached onto the tent. Then, guy out all four guy lines, two on each length. For each guy line, make a small loop near the tensioner at the bottom, and then guy it out. Now, if you have two extra stakes as well as two extra guy lines, you can go ahead and guy out the two widths of this tent. You gotta use your own for these because this tent doesn't come with enough stakes and enough guy lines. Also, open up the two rain fly vents at the very top of the tent. Please help me smash that like button if this has been helpful, I really appreciate it. Altogether, it took me about six and a half minutes to set up the entire two person links on my own, and here's a full time lapse of it. I usually leave the guidelines attached to save some time, and as you can see from this video, all six guidelines have basically been pre-attached by me. As for the takedown and pack away, that's just the opposite of the setup, and this two-person Lynx took me about seven minutes and a bit to get it back into the carry bag. And here's how I normally pack my two-person Lynx up. I usually fold the tent body in half, one, two, three times, because then it gets small enough to fit back into the carry bag like this. As for the rain fly, I just keep folding it in half about six times or so while tucking all the guy lines and buckles in nicely. 
Then I try to squeeze as much air out as possible before putting it on the tent body, and it's usually about small enough to fit. Then I grab the poles, stakes, and gear loft and roll everything up together. And this all fits back into the carry bag not too easily. I wish there were compression straps provided instead, which would make things easier. For a full review on the two-person links, do check out this video on the screen right here, including all kinds of tests like the rain test, spaciousness, quality, and more. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.